Hey guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to disable Secure Boot in Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. Secure Boot is a security feature in modern computer systems that ensures that only trusted software is loaded during the boot process. It prevents malware and other malicious software from loading during the boot process. In Windows 11, Secure Boot is enabled by default on most systems that supports it. However, there are situations where you may need to disable Secure Boot. For example, you may need to disable it if you want to install an operating system or a device driver that is not digitally signed or trusted by the secure boot process. It's important to note that disabling secure boot can increase the security risks of your computer as it allows untrusted software to load during the boot process. So if you need to disable secure boot, it's important to re-enable it after you completed the installation or configuration task that require it to disable. Now let me show you how to disable the secure boot in Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. So let's get started. First right click on Windows Star and then click on settings. After that go to recovery option. Under the advanced startup section click on restart now. Keep patience. It will take you to Windows recovery environment. Once you are entering the recovery environment, you will see a choose an option screen. Click on troubleshoot. Select advanced options and then click on UEFI firmware settings. Click on restart to access your computer's BIOS and UEFI firmware settings. If your BIOS is password protected, enter your BIOS password to enter in your PC's BIOS. Once you are in the BIOS or UEFI firmware settings, look for a section or menu labeled security or boot security or boot. The secure boot option is usually located in this section. Ok, as you can see here it is. And as you can see it was enabled by default. If the secure boot option is enabled, you will need to select it and then set it to disabled. Before you can disable secure boot, some systems may require you to first disable legacy support or CSM, I mean compatibility support module. Now use the arrow keys to select secure boot and press enter to open the options. Select disabled and press enter to confirm the changes. Save the changes and exit the BIOS or UEFI firmware settings. After disabling secure boot, you can proceed with installing or running any software that was previously prevented from running due to the secure boot restrictions. However, remember to re-enable secure boot after you have finished the installation or configuration task. That's it, you have successfully disabled secure boot in Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and don't forget to subscribe our channel ASA Technical. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.